Hi, welcome back everyone. On this episode, we are going to bond around the toilet, bond the steering wheel, all the holes left in the steering wheel. Probably take the door frame out so I can bond all this properly. It's gonna have a new door frame. Um, and see if we can get to the fiberglass and stage this week. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. <laughs> So like I said, we're gonna bond all this up this week, all the way around, seal that up, even along this chair. So the first thing I'm gonna start to do is, I'm just gonna quickly sand this patch. Won't all need sanding, just the patch that I'm gonna do the bonding of fiberglass glass, and a, a patch down there. And also inside the toilet, I'm now gonna be able to sand all that down, get some tape on it and do what I did on the other ones and just fill, fill all the holes with bonding paste. And I will now be able to finish fiberglass. So when I fiberglass this up, I'll, I'll go for this patch as well. Um, so yeah, first I will start sanding on that, okay. Okay, and that's all sanded, and sanded down there. Got a bit carried away because I was quite impressed on how, I don't know if the camera can pick up, how smooth and clean and back to the gel coat it, it came, and that was with a 60 grit. Uh, so I just quickly done a test run up there and up there. So in the future I will be sanding all of this, make it all fresh, same down the bottom, just get all of it off. Because um, originally I was just going to put carpet on here or or some sort of vinyl, but uh, seeing this, I will I will sand it, and I probably still will put something on it, but it'll be back to the original, and it can spawn better or whatever it is. Um, same with all of this. I want to do. I want to sand all that down along there, and actually refiber glass that. I don't know if you can see. But this bit here is actually a hole down into this port here. Uh, so yeah, just to strengthen the seating up, do that. But enough of that anyway. Uh, yeah, so done that. Managed to get in here. Let's quickly move some tools out of the way. There we go. And that's all now. Sanded down perfect. So my next stage will be to take this. So when I put this board in, I actually wanted it in line with this door frame. So now it's bonded and fiberglassed in the other side. I can take this whole door frame off um, and go from there. Cause originally, if you can see it, it just goes down there and it actually just a piece of fiberglass going down there. So this is all extra. Uh, so I'll take it all off for now and reconsider. Don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's all been added and so I figure out the doorway in the future. But if I take this off, I can bond this one in and fiberglass it to the frame and that'll be extra support. Um, same as under here, excuse this bit of wood. This is actually a ceiling panel, the original one, which I'm gonna see if I can get a pattern from it. Um, see if everything's still the same and fits okay. If not, not worry about that. But yeah, so I need to bond all that. 
I probably will put a piece of board up on this just because it is a big gap. So I'll put a nice trim board on there. I might even have lighting come down into the cabin area, uh, the double bed area in the future. So I can leave that for now. Um, so yeah, next bit, door frame out. Okay, and that's the whole door frame off. That must have been the original lock. They actually put a little piece of wood in there. It just fell out when I took the door frame off. And obviously this was the new one that they actually put a proper Yale lock on. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad I did that. Now you can see it's quite deep. So I can put some filler in that now. Uh, need to sand all this down uh which would be a good thing actually because yeah but sand this down bond this and re put put some tape on this and put some bonding in that which means when i fiberglass this it will have a brand new fully strengthened piece there because uh, i will be uh, fiberglassing on the outside in the future as well there's also a piece of wood along here, just took that off. So I want everything to be new, solid, uh, nothing to worry about, watertight. And as you can see, there's so many holes in that door frame. Um, so yeah, uh, next thing I am gonna, I'm not gonna do this one yet. I can do this one when I'm working on something else. I wanna focus on the toilet area. So I just sand this bit down here then I think that is everything ready for bonding. Okay, that's all sanded, all acetoned up. It is all ready to go now. It's uh, too late to start today, but I wanted to make sure I've got everything ready, prepped. Obviously prepped the biggest. So at least I can do that now. Uh, that's a little bit extra. Um, like I said, it's all acetoned. So now I can just crack on with the bonding and not stop. Um, so that'll be tomorrow. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, new day today. Uh, bonding day today. So, need to get all the outside done. Um, and then later on I will, I've got to remember to cut that flush. But it's already bonded, so that's not going to make any difference for today. So yeah, let's uh, carry on and bond. Okay, and that's the first batch. And like I said, because it's such thin lines, that's actually 400, one batch, and it's done all the way around there, up, 
over the top and all the way to the back and I even managed to get some up in there. Oh, I've also done this because I have decided that I'm going to cover this with something. Uh, so that will just put those two pieces flared off so it's all nice and sharp. Um, what I've done is I've put a bit of tape on there so I'm going to put a bit of filler in there. And I've also put tape in here ready to go. Um, I'm gonna leave, obviously this holes the steering with the three original holes. Um, for some reason there was extra, must have been an older one. We can get these three big holes covered up and then I can fiberglass at a later time. Uh, same as finishing off that little bit there. Okay, so we'll crack on with that. that big chunk filled in I haven't done up there yet um, and that's also every single one of them filled in so it looks really good just gotta let that dry now so what I'm thinking with this is because I had to fill it in I've done it flush so far I'm gonna let that dry and then put a bead down there so then both boards can join because I don't know. Probably sit here actually. That is the back wall, and this is obviously this wall. But if I put a bead down there, then I can join the fiberglass to all of it. I um, haven't done underneath the bed as well because I'll wait because I'm going to use the bag for this lot because it's a lot easier. Um, on this one, I just done a load of mix and just used a scraper because it was such. So much, and plus, obviously, I wanted to get that smooth um, as much as I can because obviously, last one you can see it's really rough, it's gonna need a lot of sanding, a lot of wastage. But that one is dead on nice, so that'll probably be tomorrow now. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. New day today, it's all dry or gone hard, should I say. All nice, all the holes filled in, perfect. So the main thing today I think I'm gonna do is get all the bonding done. So really it's just a fill that hole in there, do a bead down there, up to about there, because I'm also gonna cut flush there. Um, bond the other side, uh, go into the toilet. Take all the tape off, see how it all come out on this side. Because then that'll be ready for fiberglass and which will make it solid. And I'm even going to put a bead of bonding behind dead just to give it extra strength. Um, then I think at the moment that is it for bonding. And it should already be for fiberglassing. We'll see how far we can get because I might even put the sand on that and just get rid of all the rough edges. Um, I might do, yeah, we'll go with that first. So, I'll uh, first thing I'm going to do is cut this off, make it flush, and then we can just crack on with the bonding, okay. Okay, turned out really good. So that's already fiberglass in. I didn't manage to fill for all those holes in, so I'll leave that, that on for now. Um, see how that goes. And I've just cut that flush. It's a lot better now. Uh, I will give it a slight sand, just obviously where it's gone out a little bit. 
And then that's it. So I think what the next thing is I sand all this. Um, sand this down. And also, um, yeah, so we'll just sand that down for now. Okay. Yeah, as you see, so I've sanded all that down. That's nice and smooth now. That is flat. And I thought, while well, I've got the sander out, I might as well sand all the bonding down. So now that is ready for fiberglassing. I ain't got to do nothing else to that. Um, I even sanded this down, which really fled. It was really nice and smooth now. Um, so that'd be a nice corner. Um, yeah, the one thing I didn't show you, I did. If you remember, there was a lock here. So that's all filled in now. This side's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is when I put a bead of stuff down now, I'm just gonna top this up. Because it was taped one side, it was so flimsy, I had to try and get at least the start of it. Now it's solid, I can build it up and make it into the shape of the door. And then obviously when fiberglassing goes on both sides, it's gonna just hold that perfect um yeah i might even i might even try and put a little bead down there and see if i can sand it into it i mean that is solid now it's not going to move um even if it did crack in the future this will be covered over with something um so you won't see it but at least i know it's been filled uh so yeah on to the bonding now And that's that all bonded well it's all bonded up um it went off so quick uh the same batch as last time uh the other day yesterday uh didn't go off that quick today it's just gone so quick as you can see i didn't even get enough time to smoothen that out so i'll just let that go hard sand it down uh, managed to quickly do the main part so this one this and managed to do a long there, which is make that solid. And I've done a little bit extra across there and filled a couple holes in, which I'll just sand down tomorrow or whenever I can get here. Um, now I did do underneath there, but by the time I smoothened all this out, it was bubbled out. I couldn't do nothing with it. So I just, uh, I just pulled it all off so I can just start fresh and just, it'll only be that one little corner to do, which is no, you know, it's like two foot long, so it won't take too long. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it now. Uh, onto the fiberglass and stage, which will probably be next week now, because that's going to be a big job. Uh, so what I'm planning to do is next week fiberglass all of this up. Um, that I completely finish this off. It'll do that door frame, uh, sand that down, and just do odd little bits here and there. Uh, tidy up everything. Um, order some resin in because uh, I've only got probably about. Right, you can see how much we've got there, so that's a 10 litre, so probably just under 5, probably 4 litres. Uh, because I am going to focus on the transom uh, after next week. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.